Earlier this year, I got one of the most powerful PCs known to man, and ever since I've been seeing all these YouTube videos of people destroying their own PCs with the most insane graphics Minecraft has to offer, and I want in. But instead of killing my computer with graphics, we're gonna kill it with speed. RTX 3080, Ryzen 7 5800X, 32GB of RAM, air and liquid cooling, and a crazy gaming motherboard to tie it all together. This is one of the best PCs ever created, and it's time to put it to the test, pushing every ounce of its power to the absolute limit for Minecraft. But putting this all together was not cheap. It cost about $2,000 just to get all the parts for this beast of a computer, and let's be real, YouTube isn't gonna cover that. So for that, we turn to today's sponsor for the video, Buff. Buff is basically free stuff just for gaming, and that might sound too good to be true, but it isn't, and I'll explain. Using Buff isn't hard. Just download it, sign up, play some games, and earn Buff points, which you exchange for gift cards, hardware, V-Bucks, skins, and more. The better you play, the more you earn, and they even got a debit card with cash back for whatever you buy with it. Buff's money comes from ads, subscriptions, and partnerships with companies like Overwolf and Steam, or even esports orgs like NRG. So no crypto mining, no selling your info, it's nothing like that. And if you're still not sure, why don't you ask the Buff community? They just rebranded the whole app and the website along with launching the Discover tab where you can see clutches, highlights, strategies, and more from gamers around the world. Buff's available internationally on Windows, iOS, and Android, and supports some of the biggest games out there, including CSGO, Fortnite, Fall Guys, and of course, Minecraft. If that sounds cool, I think so too. You can download it here and in the comments and description and grab your welcome bonuses. P.S. There's a lot of them. Thank you Buff for sponsoring the video. Now back to destroying my PC. Yay. First off, we need the basics. No mods, no special settings, just me, Minecraft 1.18, and the F3 screen. And without changing anything, it runs at a smooth 200 FPS. With a $2,000 PC, that's 10 bucks per frame. I record my screen in more than that, so yeah, there's some room for improvement. And the first thing we can do is say goodbye to F3. See, in Minecraft, the F3 screen with all of its text and monitors and meters actually tanks your FPS by a lot. For me, turning it off doubled my frame rate up to about 600 FPS standing still and 400 when I was running around, which certainly isn't bad. But we can do better. This is just in vanilla Minecraft, but in 2022, nobody's running vanilla. We have Forge, Fabric, Light Loader, Lunar, Labby Mod, Bad Lion, and a billion other clients and mod loaders that are fingertips. And it just so happens that for 1.18, where Fabric reigns supreme, we've got a few mods to help us out. Now, of course, the classic trusty Optifine is what started it all, and it's had our backs through the years, available on basically every version of the game, and giving us exactly what we want, those sweet, sweet frames. But on the newer versions of the game, starting around 1.14, Forge and Optifine's time as king and queen has come to an end, with the rise of Sodium. And also these guys. Sodium is essentially Fabric's answer to Forge's Optifine, but better. A lot better. So, fire up Fabric for 1.18.2, throw Sodium and the Fabric API in there so it actually works, and... Oops, let me uh, turn off the shaders. Boom, 1000 FPS, 1136 to be exact. And if we mess around with the settings, leaving render distance for later so we don't go blind, we can push our numbers up another 100 frames per second. And already we've quadrupled what we started with. I'm pretty proud of that. But we're not done yet, because on 1.18, Sodium is far from the only mod to help us with our FPS problems. If we take a look at this nifty list on GitHub, there's actually about 40 more of them, and even though not all of them are gonna be useful here, I picked out a few that should play nicely. Download them to my computer, shove them all in the mods folder, press play, and hope Minecraft doesn't crash from 11 unchecked mods running at once. Fortunately, it didn't, and our FPS shoots up by a hundred more, now in the 1300s, and even running around the map nets us a solid seven or eight hundred frames each second. But now we've run into a wall. As far as Minecraft 1.18 goes, we've reached the end of our journey. There's only so much one man can do with these tools if we still want the game to be playable. And trust me, playable won't be a word used to describe this game in a few minutes, but we don't have to ruin the game just yet on one condition. We have to throw Minecraft 1.18 out the window. See, Minecraft 1.18, it's as updated and recent as you can get besides 1.19, which isn't finished. But this isn't the only version of Minecraft people are still playing. 
It's not even the one that I play. There's a ton of players that stick behind 1.7, 1.8, 1.12, and 1.16 for their modding and PvP communities. And Minecraft 1.18, even with all the performance mods it has, is just too much to run as well as these older versions. So if we really want to push Minecraft and my PC to their limits, we're taking it all the way back to Minecraft 1.8, the oldest version of Minecraft that people still play today with good performance. And sure enough, just switching over to vanilla Minecraft 1.8 already gives us a big boost in performance over what we saw in 1.18. Add Optifine into the mix, and with some fixed up settings, we're running at a smooth, creamy 2500 FPS. That's a little more than I was expecting, but all right, sure. Except Optifine is just the start of our 1.8 FPS journey, because before we do anything else, we're switching over to Lunar Client. Lunar is a mod client filled with custom capes and hundreds of mods, but to run all that, they added a few optimizations of their own. So if you just disable all the mods, you've got the most optimized version of Minecraft you can find. You want proof? Then look at this. 3,000 FPS. Now that is a pretty big milestone, but it's also the last piece of Minecraft we can optimize without ruining the game. Even still, we're far from the finish line. Let's take it to the desktop, because it's time for maximum performance. All right, my PC is good, but when it's really working, it gets hot, really hot. So I usually run the fans on high and turn the voltage and the processing power down to keep temperatures cool. But if we want FPS for the history books, we need to crank everything up to max. Is my CPU hot enough to sear a steak? Yes, but it's worth it because look, look, 3500 FPS. That's more frames than my net worth, yet it's still not enough. See, I built my computer with specs high enough to run everything I would ever need. Discord, OBS, NordVPN, 40 Opera GX tabs, even the script for this very video, all while enjoying some classic Manicube parkour. But even with this beast of a computer, having all that open at once can take its toll on my FPS. So if we want the absolute best for our Minecraft, we have to make sacrifices. Goodbye memes channel. Farewell YouTube music. Sayonara 34 research tabs I haven't looked at in a week. We need every single byte of the RAM, every megahertz of the CPU, and every CUDA core of the graphics card for the ultimate Minecraft experience. And even though doing this in the past hasn't done much for my FPS, here it went up by about one or 200, which is pretty good. And now again, we've hit a dead end. We've used every performance mod, optimized every setting, overclocked our computer, and closed everything the computer was made for, reserving every morsel of power for Minecraft. There is nothing more to do. Unless we get a little goofy. You wanna get goofy? Let's get goofy. All right, first off, render distance. Eight chunks, ridiculous. Set it to two, look at those frames. But we aren't done yet. You see these graphics, these beautiful 16 by 16 textures? Screw them, we don't need them. I play Minecraft enough to know every block just by the color. So it's time for a one pixel texture pack. Doesn't that look so much better? It runs better too. But we're still operating on a crisp 2560 by 1440 resolution, Ultra HD. You don't need that for Minecraft. Let's go down to, uh, let's say 480p, boxed. Actually, that kind of reduced my FPS. Run it back, let's go back up to 1080p. That seems to be the sweet spot for some reason. And if we really want the best for our game, measuring my frames on a map like this is ridiculous. Let's try something a little more sophisticated. The perfect minimalistic emptiness of a super flat world. No trees, no water, no caves, no mobs, nothing but grass and void in every direction. Oh, and one more thing. Remember how we closed every single thing on the computer? Well, we left one of them. OBS. I'm sorry, my friend, but your time has come. Farewell. Now is the moment of truth. We have done anything and everything to achieve the ultimate Minecraft frame rate, but if we really want to break records, standing here is not the way to do it. As soon as I jump into this void, my frame rate is going to skyrocket, and this will truly tell the limits of Minecraft FPS. Are you ready? Three, two, one, drop. Boys, we actually did it. 6,000 frames per second in Minecraft, double the highest I've ever gotten and over a thousand higher than the previous record on YouTube by Nulzy. He's an absolute legend, go check him out. This, this is an accomplishment. This is a day to be remembered, cherished, celebrated until the end of time. This is the day we pushed Minecraft to its limits. This is the day we...